Good morning, welcome back to my channel, another vlog. I'm actually thinking I might make this a full day of eating because I woke up with little Lulu this morning and I just had coffee. I talked about this a little bit on my story yesterday, but I went from being super hungry in the first trimester, like the only thing that one kind of kept my nausea at bay and also it was just like one of the main symptoms. Like I was hungry all the time. And now I feel like I'm barely hungry at all. Like before when I would wake up, I immediately needed to eat something. For the past week, I haven't really been eating until like 11. And that's because I'm like, okay, if I wanna get in all my calories, like I should probably eat. And then I've been having bigger meals, which keeps me satiated longer. But anyway. So I think I'm gonna do a full day of eating. That would be kind of fun to compare first trimester to now. Anyway, well, total rant. I just pulled up to the gym. I got up with Lulu at 6.30 and this is her crate time from, I mean, from like nine to 11. We usually don't keep her in the crate that long, but just cause it's so early on and basically as it takes her a little bit to fall asleep and then we keep her in there until she wakes up which is usually around an hour so i tried to wear her out so chris isn't like at home totally struggling with her trying to work and keep eyes on her because that's just honestly not possible she has to be in the crate or else you have to have like all of your attention on her so she's in her little crate hopefully snoozing for chris <laughs> I'm gonna head in, walk, get a good hamstring and glute workout in, and head home, continue working, watch the new little pup. I feel, I feel like I'm in a cage. The walls, the walls, they keep closing in. I need a place where I can breathe. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me swim deep, find a better way Something to light up a spark again So lift me up to a higher state Oh yeah, yeah, yeah It's time to say goodbye, leave it all in full dark time Need you to hold your breath, swim till you reach a deeper end little update because then I need to head home to Chris he's so sweet he's like don't rush he's like I got this enjoy your workout so first meal of the day it's the frozen mocha smoothie but I'm getting collagen same smoothie I think I showed the last time I normally make these at home this is my first time to the gym in quite a while um, but I also got Chris a smoothie because I love him and also it's like a thank you for letting me come to the gym because I feel like I was just getting back into a routine and then we got Lulu which was it, it is so exciting but I want to make sure I also maintain my routine of working out now that I'm feeling better, have the energy, because that's like, that is my me time. That's my hour, hour and a half to myself if I walk. First meal of the day, smoothie, and yeah, let's head home and go see the dog and the cats and Christopher. <laughs>
basically because I love breakfast and <laughs> even though I'm not hungry this always sounds good so I have oatmeal with a serving of chia seeds because that's one of the things that was on the list for like nutrients this week raspberries blackberries I'm not weighing anything out because I know I'm eating fewer meals than I normally would so I'm trying to make the meals I do eat a little bit higher calorie and then I have my omelet with tom yeah tomato medley spinach cheese two whole eggs, some egg whites. I put some of the everything but the bagel seasoning on the avocado. I'm gonna eat it on the eggs because I do love the everything bagels, but I wanted to make sure I got some chia seeds in and fruit. So this is my meal too. later than I intended. I actually started to get hungry and then I had a call that wasn't planned and then I had another call that was planned and here we are now. This is not dinner. This is was technically just going to be my like midday meal three so we're just going to have a later dinner now but it's the rotini marinara veggie pasta with leftover chicken that we air fried yesterday and I think for dinner we're going to do salmon and asparagus but we will just see. This is my next meal. Hello! 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 Yes! 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 yes. Good girl! Yes! So thanks, guys! Yes! Oh. Yes! No! Oh! Wait, you don't like the camera in your face? I get it. I get it. I went through the same thing. <laughs> I can't respect it. He's saying hi. We are making dinner. It is 9.30. We've got some asparagus going. You're tired. And salmon. That's gonna be so yummy, even though I'm not hungry. How hungry are you? Can I see? Maybe I can flip that. I'm asking how hungry you are. Oh. I don't know. Last time I didn't think I was hungry and I ended up eating a bunch. Hello. <laughs> Do I need a haircut? I mean, this is the longest it's been in a year. Should I keep growing it out? Well, I feel like you're gonna get so frustrated. Probably will. <laughs> Tell me. I'm sorry I'm looking off screen at the thing. Should I cut it? Is the flow fine? Should I just cut it cut on the sides a little bit to make it so it's not poofy and then keep the length on top? Let me know. How much longer do you think you're going to wait to decide? I don't know. This is the longest I've had it since barbershops were closed down due to COVID. Yes. So like May of 2020. Damn, I look pretty big right now. Though. You oh, always look big. Yeah. Okay, nice. I said... I was like, okay, well, I hope you're fine with eating dinner later when I had that chicken and pasta meal. And he's like, yeah, I'm not hungry. And then he was downstairs working Ranger, out. That was at six o'clock and it is now 9.30. Yeah, but he's downstairs working out and he's like, you still want salmon? I'm like, well, yeah, I know I need to eat. And he's like, oh, I was just gonna have a smooth uh, shake and some baked delays. I'm like, yeah, I, I think salmon and asparagus, and in his case, rice is better. Do you have a fork? Do you get a big fork or a little fork? Yeah, a big one. Why? Uh, Why? I like the little ones. I normally like the little ones. So. Probably last meal of the day. I might... We'll see how I feel after this, basically. It keeps happening where, like... When was it? I think when I made... Oh, I think it was last night. We had chicken and broccoli, and I was like, I'm not hungry, but I know I need to eat. 
And then I ended up having a little thing of guac out and some salsa and chips. And he's like, I thought you weren't hungry. Like you should keep eating, but I thought you weren't hungry. I'm like, yeah, well, it turns out I am. Once I start eating, it's like I find my hunger. Where are you going? That is gonna be it for the video. I ended my day of eating with the salmon and asparagus. I am very full. How much salmon do you think it ended up being? Five to six ounces, I would, I would guess. That explains. They weren't super thick. No. Um, but anyway, I realized I, because I didn't decide I was doing a full day of eating until I was already on the way to the gym, I didn't show my coffee or my supplements. So I had my prenatal. I take two prenatals, like that's a full serving of the Bomar prenatal. I take two fish oils and I take one probiotic. I had my collagen at the gym, so I didn't end up making, and I had plenty of greens today. Normally I'll mix up my greens with my collagen, immunity, and essentials. I forgot to take my immunity today. I'll take it tomorrow. I'm so tired. Layla! She says, Mom, I'm trying to be sneaky. Anyway, hope you enjoyed well, the video. It is definitely very interesting to see the differences between first trimester and second trimester. Actually, while we're here, what would you say, like from the outside looking in, what the biggest differences are so far now versus the first trimester? You don't feel like... Absolute but booty. <laughs> you, yeah. you seems like from the outside, you are normal as you were before pregnancy. Yeah, I'm definitely. I don't get nearly as tired as I was. I still get tired, but I'm able to push through it where before I felt like I couldn't. Yeah, if we would have got her, I would hit a wall while you were feeling like that. It would have been bad news for <laughs> bad, everybody. Bad news for everybody. Yeah, feeling my mood has changed. That's something I no. feel like I can't judge. I don't think your mood really ever changed. I mean, you get emotional, but you've always gotten emotional. Yeah. He's talking about like, I feel like you always, are you talking about the movie? What movie? The preview. What movie preview? Oh, never mind. I thought you were talking about Spider-Man. Allie's the one who brings that up, Never mind. <laughs> What'd you do with the movie preview? You looked over at me when they were playing that, the like the car commercial where the daughter fixes up the car that her oh. dad and mom used to take. Oh yeah. That's so. That is that is a sad. That's an like emotion. A, like that's normal. I don't want not sad. Is it Ford? I don't remember. Anyway. No, you've been pretty. I mean, it seems like everything is you know as we say in the uh, adult world, business as usual. Yeah, I would say you. the biggest difference so far and is Q2. the fact that I have energy and I don't feel T bad. T two. Yeah. And I'm able to like. I mean, it's, everyone described it, and in the books, that first trimester is usually really rough for, it's like, I think it's 75% of women or something usually experience morning sickness, or like me. All day sickness? All day sickness. Um, and then second trimester is like the honeymoon phase, like you feel great, and then I've heard third trimester, you just feel super uncomfortable. So I'm trying my best to utilize all of this time where I feel good to work out, be productive, try to get shiz done, AKA the nursery and like get organized and everything while I have energy because I've also had a ton of people say like, once you get to your third trimester, you're not gonna have the same amount of energy or you're not gonna have the same motivation. Like try to get as much done as you can now. So that's the plan. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video, trying to get back on top of it. And with little Lou, who's sneezing right now. You gotta go to bed soon. I'm so tired. Layla!